who is Mr. and Mrs. Taylor? Yeah. I'm from Chicago, born and raised from a small town just outside of the city. So I was born Teresa Loera in Downey, California. I grew up in Orange County, Irvine specifically. MMT is like a mixture of a rock and crushed velvet. Like hard underground hip hop and classically trained R&P vocals, meaning rhythm and praise. We're uh, a husband and wife uh, team. You know, we've been uh, together for a long time. We began by first getting saved. Uh, we both came to the Lord back in 93. And then shortly after that, uh, we began to try to figure out what God wanted us to do. We both were from the music industry, and so it seemed natural for us to kind of gravitate to doing music. We, ne we never really felt like the Lord was uh, taking us on a journey to just be artists, recording artists, but it was much more purposeful than that. Uh, we, we, when we went out on our journeys, they were more like missions trips, mm -hmm. uh, domestic and uh, abroad. You know, they were more like missions trips. They felt like it. We're largely called to pour into people called to music ministry. It's not something we ever set out to do, but as we look around, we're like, you know, he just draws um, some of these young artists to us uh, for us to be able to pour into them everything we had to learn the hard way. Yeah. That's one of the main things that we stressed in the beginning was, you know, let's get our minds right of why we do this thing that we do. We were in a New Believers Bible study at a church in Costa Mesa, California called Calvary Chapel. And at that church is how we learn who we were. Yeah. And um, it was at that uh, Bible study that we got asked to sing a song together, which we kind well, of we kind of laughed about that. Yeah, because it was funny because because what happened was I went home, <laughs> and when they said you know let's do can you guys do some music together, they never knew that we had really never did music together, but that we they knew that we were both from the industry, but they never knew that we never rocked. I mean, I had together. my thing going on, yeah. and he'd ha he had his thing going on. And I went home. We never and, really thought to do it together. Yeah, I went home and dusted off some old cassette tapes you know, writing pieces for my wife to sing and writing these different things. And, you know, it just started coming together. You know, God just started kind of working it out. But there was some uh, some balance that we needed to work out. Yeah, he, yeah. he wrote some very short lines for me to yeah, sing. Yeah, I did. <laughs> He yeah. had these big long verses yeah, for him yeah. to spit and gave me these little one liners. Yeah. And that's when I had to say, I am not yeah. your backup she singer. Did. I, <laughs> that is not going to do it for me. I need a little bit more than that. Yeah. So I had but to kind of fight for that a little bit, ladies. We figured it out. We figured out the balance. And uh, <laughs> it took us a little while to find our balance. But yeah. we really live by the words uh, Billy Graham left us with just keep preaching the gospel. We live our lives like that. When we get discouraged by how much the world seems to be falling away from God, we're like, you know what, just keep preaching the gospel. Don't mm -hmm. get caught up in arguments, political arguments, and you know, opinions, just keep preaching the gospel. Yeah, it's really and just so, that simple. Where we are right now is just really still talking about uh, a lot about where we are in our life because we know that a lot of people are kind of where we are. Some of the new music that we're working on right now deals a lot with uh, you know, uh, pro-life issues. It deals a lot with, uh, again, like my wife mentioned earlier, running your race, passing the baton to the mm -hmm. next generation. You know, we're more than just MCs. We're mm -hmm. pastor teachers. A big piece of, of our walk now is, yes, we, we can still create content and we still like to, you know, perform and, and utilize the gifts that God has given us. We're not trying to sit on our gifts, but we, we can also teach and we can pour into others and we can disciple so that they can run their race and, and you know, not fall prey to mm -hmm. just the discouragement of the world and how the world is always fighting for our attention, but staying to who they are in Christ and, 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 and doing it in excellence. Currently, MMT is still grinding. We're still producing music. Even right now, we're working on new material. Uh, we're really excited about what God has uh, been giving us to share. Uh, we're recording that thing right now. It should be done shortly. The album will be out soon. Uh, we're entitling it Still Here because we are still here. We're still standing and uh, we're still persevering. We're still uh, moving forward in the things of God. And it's just so much that we got jam packed into this music uh, that I, I, we can't wait to, to, to let it go, to release it. So we're really excited about it.